Hello fellow humans, Chris here again. So uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about shots and uh, biological weapons and, uh, and showing some skin. Uh, I'm going to show a little bit of skin. Don't get too excited. Um, so you probably are aware uh, for the last, since it's been about six months now, the military, uh, both DOD and DHS, have implemented full um, requirements for, uh, for vaccination against COVID-19. Um, this has been in effect for, like I said, it's, it's been several months now, and starting in about November, um, discharges were beginning to be implemented, and uh, waivers, religious exemptions, were beginning to get denied. And that's happening more and more. Um, the 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 use of of religion as a, as a cause for exemption is highly being uh, being rejected. Um, very rarely is it being uh, approved, and uh, this is bringing up a lot of conversations within the services about um, one's patriotism uh, for choosing to follow a, a direct order. Um, and there's there's a lot of uh, conversation about who who's the patriotic one and who's the authoritative one. Um, if if you've been in the military for any amount of time, you know that vaccines are a uh, <laughs> regular part of the military life. Um, you have uh, annual requirements. Uh, you have to get your flu shot every year. There's no exemptions for that. Um, you have to get certain medical test done every so many years you have to get an HIV blood draw and uh, when you join the military and uh, in my case in particular joined uh, during the post 9-11 era uh, you get shot up literally uh, <laughs> with with needles and uh, in the era of the the post 9-11 years um, they actually brought back the, the smallpox shot. And uh, smallpox in its natural form has not existed for uh, almost 50 years. Uh, but it was implemented at the time because of fears of uh, smallpox potentially being used as a biological weapon. And this was in the wake of the anthrax attacks. Uh, now just for perspective, now we know 9-11 killed uh, just around 3,000 people. Um, just uh, I don't say just as in like only I mean just in that uh, in that range I think just short of it but uh, if you take all the attacks into account I think a little bit more than 3,000 um, and then in the weeks following 9-11 there were anthrax attacks which as, as far as I know killed five people and injured about 17 so for that uh, as we know Patriot Act we know that um Security was heightened in the airports. We know all those things. Um, but one of the other uh, byproducts of that was br bringing back the smallpox vaccine for the troops. And uh, I still have my scar. When I went through, um, we were all in a big line. And uh, we didn't really know. I mean, we knew we were getting the smallpox shot. But they had some system methodology for determining how many shots you would get. People got different amounts for different factors um, and I just remember being in a long line and getting about t 10 or 12 really fast pricks in my shoulder um, hurt like hell and uh, I remember uh, the squad bay getting really sick for the next few days um, everything just kind of spread around everybody just caught whatever we all got and it was a pretty miserable couple of days but I remember there was no questioning of it um, it was a direct order, you follow orders, um, and you move on. <laughs> and uh, even all these years later, I still have the scar. So I was going to share that really quick. So I don't know if you can see that right there in the light. It used to be, let me get a better angle. It used to be a lot more prominent than, than this. I used to joke that it was my, it was my you can kind of see it from the angle there. I used to joke that it was my, my third nipple because it was a little bit more protruding for the first few years after. Um, but anyway, just wanted to share that. Um, the, um, the use of smallpox 
actually as a biological weapon did exist. Um, it happened several times over all the way back to the 14th century. And uh, during the 1750s and 1760s, during the French and Indian War, it was actually used um, by, by French troops. So they would take blankets that had been used to care for smallpox patients and they would spread those blankets around in towns of American Indians trying to infect them. And they actually did infect and kill a lot of American Indians that way. And uh, so in the wake of 9-11, in the wake of five anthrax biological deaths, um, just out of a, a, a precaution, mitigation of risks, um, the military brought back smallpox shots. And I was one of them. And everybody that joined in those years, I think it went up through till about 2008, um, got that shot. In addition to all the other shots that you have to get. Um, and like I said, the annual flu shot and a lot of other times. You, just, you have to get you get a lot of needles in the military. So for, for today, for people to give up their careers, a lot of these people are short of their 20 years, so they're not going to be able to retire. Um, it's, it's an odd hill to die on. Um, I, I'm not quite sure where it comes from. I guess a lot of it comes from, from Trump, um, from a misplaced sense of uh, trusting Donald Trump. Um, although even he says you should get the vaccine now. Um, so I don't know, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, I know that 3,000 people died on 9-11. I know that five people died of anthrax. And um, in, in the wake of that, we implemented a, a mass um, re-implementation re of the smallpox vaccine for a virus that has not existed in its natural form for almost 50 years. Um, is effectively eradicated now. It can only be used as a weapon, basically, a uh, biological weapon. So I just want to share that for some perspective. Um, I certainly don't want to lose people, but, um, you know, I don't want to lose people to dying from COVID either. So um, I, I just, I, I just it's, it's weird to me. I mean, there's people that I know personally that joined around the same time as me that are, still refusing this vaccine and they're gonna eventually they're gonna be processed out um i, I don't know what uh what the reasoning for that is but um hopefully this just gives some perspective um you know we follow orders because people's lives are at stake and um you know part of being in the military is being mobilization ready at all times part of being mobilization ready is being fully up on all medical requirements, including vaccinations. Um, if you're not in the green, then you're, you're not any good to your service. So um, if you know anybody that uh, joined around that time, that post 9-11 era, ask them about their smallpox shot and ask them if they still have the scar, uh, see how prominent it is. Some people's reactions were stronger than others, but again, I got a lot of shots with it. So I had kind of strong reaction. Uh, anyway, um, just want to share that story. I will check up with you all again very soon. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, don't be afraid to question the consensus.